supply of television have one big thing in common, a quality known as immediacy. You gotta catch both of them at the moment they happen or you very likely have lost them all together. But today, Seven Lively Arts is gonna toss the two together, see what happens. This will be an hour of jazz. It will largely be improvised. Those 32 names there include some of the finest jazz musicians alive today. During the next hour, they'll be bringing you the sound of jazz from Studio 58. They're not going to attempt all the sounds of jazz. <coughs> that wouldn't be possible in an hour. The emphasis will be on the blues, which are basic to all jazz. The blues are by no means always sad. As a matter of fact, you just caught a glimpse of Count Basie's big band bringing you a fast and happy blues. Let's join him. There's not going to be a lot of talk on this program today. I'm not going to interpret jazz or analyze it, bring you its history. The important thing about jazz is to experience it, feel it, enjoy it. We have got together six different musical groups today whose styles vary a good deal. However, the labels given to different kinds of jazz, swing, progressive, Disneyland, don't really mean very much. The next group you're going to hear is a kind of mixture. Chicago jazz, New Orleans jazz, and swing. Among the musicians, Rex Stewart on the cornet, Pee Wee Russell clarinet, Vic Dickinson trombone, Coleman Hawkins tenor saxophone, Nat Pierce piano, Danny Barker guitar, Bill Hinton bass, and Joe Jones on the drum. And the leader, Red Allen, thinks the blues are good medicine for all of it. Always the blues. Very short, 12 bars. The cotton how guy feels. Maybe they might have a happy feeling and still could play great blues. Might be very sad and still could. But it's uh, the atmosphere of the other guy. It's exciting. And uh, it reaches the next person. Probably they may have troubles. And I think it helps to make them happy. I'll forget their troubles. Same as to do the playing of the person. Seems like it injects into the next person. In fact, that's what I seem to pick up from uh, people that's listening. Nice. Watch it. Wow! Wow!
back in a moment with part two with the sound of jazz.
Again, <clears throat> the sound of jazz in Studio 58. Thelonious Monk has been playing and composing his own unique brand of jazz for almost 20 years. Here he's accompanied by Ahmed Abdul Malik on the bass and O.C. Johnson on the drums. The song is Blue Monk. Now our big band, Count Basie's, is going to explore a different kind of blues, Kansas City blues. Basie's approach in these next two numbers is freewheeling, forthright, very sophisticated. This is a swinging band. On trumpets are Emmett Berry, Joe Newman, Doc Cheatham, uh, Roy Elders, and Joe Wilder. On trombones, Benny Morton, Vic Dickinson, and Dickie Wells, who incidentally inspired one of the numbers called Dickie's Dream. On saxophones, Earl Warren, Ben Webster, Coleman Hawkins, and Jerry Mulligan. The rhythm section is among the most famous in jazz. On piano, Comp Basie. On the guitar, Freddie Green. On the bass, Eddie Jones. On the drums, Joe Jones. And singing the blues, Jimmy Rushing. Jimmy? Hi, John. Any time a person can play the blues, he has a soul, and that gives him uh, sort of a lift to play anything else he wants to play. And uh, the blues is sort of a base, like the foundation to a building, you know. And one thing, it has to tell a story. It's like the pop tunes of the day. You take the majority of the hit of uh, the pop tunes why they tell a story, something that happened. And, and it gets to the people because it has a feeling. Different times in my life, different things happening. About, they used to jump around quite a bit. Girlfriends and different things like that. And I, my little girl I was going with, and I left for one time, you know. And I just built a blues that right around that, left my baby standing in the back door crying. She said, son, you got a home as long as I've got mine. 
Back in a moment with part three of the sound of jazz. 
Again, Studio 58 and the sound of jazz. Billie Holiday is one of a handful of really great jazz singers. Her blues are poetic, highly intense. Playing with her here today are some of the musicians who accompanied her back in the 30s and some of the greatest jazz records ever made. Among the musicians, Roy Eldridge and Doc Cheatham on trumpets, Coleman Hawkins, Lester Young and Ben, <clears throat> ben Webster on saxophone, Dick Dickinson on trombone, Jerry Mulligan on baritone sax, Mal Waldron at the piano, Milt Hinton, Hinton on bass, Danny Barker on guitar, and O.C. Johnson on the drum. Billy Holiday. The blues to me is like being very sad, very sick, going to church, being very happy. There's two, two kinds of blues. There's happy blues and there's sad blues. I don't think I ever sing the same way twice. I don't think I ever sing the same tempo. One night's a little bit slower, the next night is a little bit brighter. That's what I feel. I don't know, the blues is sort of a mixed up thing. You just have to feel it. Anything I, I do sing, it's, it's part of my life. My man don't love me. He treats me oh so mean. Treats me awful me. He's the lowest man that I've ever seen.
years, there have been some new approaches to jazz. One of the younger groups is the Jimmy Dupree Three. However, the blues of the Jimmy Dupree Three, while modern, go directly back to the folk origins of jazz itself. The trio in question, the Jim Atlas on bass, Jim Hall on guitar, and on clarinet and saxophone, Jimmy Dupree, who can explain much better than I can how he feels about his own music. The feeling of the blues, it's in all of jazz, modern jazz, and ancient jazz, and what have you. It's a mixture of happiness and sadness right together some way. <laughs> I try to let the um, feeling and the flow of things get the last word over the mathematical idea. A big pool of feeling. But uh, there are three of us, three men, who think alike, or at least have the same insight. So we try to uh, keep the thing balanced. Usually, in ad-libbing, you have a um, pure theme, and then each man ad-libs for a long time. Each one of them has to be prepared to play an individual part, uh, a melody of his own. If the uh, saxophone is playing a moving part, well, the bass has to be simply to play another kind of part that fits with that musically. You don't scream at them while they're whispering.
We've heard a lot of different kinds of jazz this afternoon. Now let's try mixing up some of the various styles, see what happens. On this last group, Joe Jones on drums, Milt Hinton on the bass, and Danny Barker on the guitar. It'll be a real spontaneous session. Two clarinetists, a young Jimmy Jufri, and a real old timer, Pee Wee Russell. Only a few of the ways that jazz is being played, but you have heard some of its greatest performances. Most of what you've seen and heard has been improvised, both collectively and individually. And that really is what jazz is. Till next week, goodbye. Columbia Records has cut a long playing record of today's program, which will be called The Sound of Jazz. It'll be released early next year. On audio for today's Sound of Jazz, Sam Lane and Bruno Zerato Jr.
from Ben Webster now, and Chelsea Bridge by Billy Strayhorn. Hank Jones piano. Ben Webster, tenor saxophone. George Devivier, bass. Joe Jones, drums. Buck Clayton, trumpet. And Vic Dickinson, trombone. Ben Webster, Duke Ellington, Sea Jam Blues. 